Hello, welcome back to Clear Dutch Grammar. I am Ilka Schaap and I will explain to you today five common mistakes that especially beginners make when they greet people in Dutch and ask, hey, how are you? So let's have a look. The first thing I see happening sometimes is that I ask a student of mine on Zoom or on the phone, like, Hoi, who is it? And then I might get this answer. Hoi, het is Sylvia. So they probably thought I was asking who is it in English. But who means how and not who. So if you want to say who in Dutch, that would be wie. So who means how. And it means how are you? How is it? How are you doing? So the correct answer would be goed, good. Um, maybe the question is also a bit hard to understand because we can pronounce it very quickly and the word het is often shortened to even just a T. So it might sound like this, hoist, or even shorter, hoost. So that's how it sounds. Don't write it like that, okay? Um, so you can also ask hoe gaat het? That means the exact same thing. Literally, this is how goes it instead of how is it. But translating to English, normal English, how are you? So these are the exact same meaning. Um, maybe you want to give a slightly longer answer. And you might think it's a good idea to say this. Fout number two, mistake number two. Ik ben goed. If you say that, it sounds arrogant. <laughs> it sounds like you're saying, you are good. I am good. Look at me. Don't say that, okay? So, ik ben goed is a wrong answer. What shall we say if we want to make it a bit longer? Hmm. So, the question actually is... Hoe gaat het met jou? How goes it with you? Literally translating. So we want to say it goes well with me. So you can say um, het gaat goed. It goes good, great, well. Um, or you can make it even longer. Het gaat goed met mij. It goes good with me. Okay, um, we can actually also more commonly used say it the other way around. It's a bit tricky. You will have to swap some words around there and you say met mij gaat het goed. This is something called inversion. You will learn about that word order stuff later on. Um, so this would be a very nice long answer if you don't want to say just goed. So which other words can we use? Maybe you want to vary a little and not always say goed, even though that's really the most common. Um, so you're thinking of English. How would you say fine? I'm fine. Oh, wait a minute. I know a word in Dutch that sounds exactly like that, which is fine. Eh, wrong. Mistake number three. Fout number three. Fine is not fine in English. That's not a translation. Maybe you've heard the word fine um, as a positive word, which it is. In these expressions, fine avond, fine weekend, which means have a nice evening, have a nice weekend, or pleasant evening, pleasant weekend. So, actually, we don't use this in this conversation of how are you, etc. So, how would we translate fine then in this situation? Well, we can say prima. Prima. Hoe gaat het? Prima. Okay, so you can even make this slightly longer. 
as with the other with the other option goed met mij gaat het goed met mij gaat het prima you can even make this long option shorter by removing the gaat het completely making it not a full sentence but just an expression met mij prima which is usually followed by asking how the other person is doing so you will probably think hmm I'm fine. And you? And you'll go out there and say, And jij? Eh, wrong. I'm sorry to disappoint you, but this is not possible. Why not? Well, we saw before that we're not actually asking who gaat het. And the story, we're actually asking who gaat het met jou? How's it going with you? Or who is het met jou? How is it with you? So, you can see this also in this answer. Met mij, with me, fine. So, we want to see this again if you're asking the question back to the other person. So, then you have to say, en met jou. Met mij, prima. En met jou. So, you cannot say en jij. That's just not possible in this how are you conversation. Okay. Last mistake, so maybe you're not always doing great and then you see in your lesson book this sentence, het gaat wel. And you might think that means it goes well, but that doesn't mean it goes well, because wel, the Dutch wel, <laughs> does not translate into well in English, which is something like good. No, wel... Um, it's a different story, but all with all together, this expression means, yeah, it is going, but, nah, something like that. So, you're not saying you're doing bad, but there is something up. So, if someone says this to you, now don't go say like, oh, mooi zo, like, there's nothing wrong no you should say something like oh vertel or you could say oh what then so um what then like oh then what's the problem actually this one pronounced sounds more like what then but okay the words we're saying we are trying to say are what then so then the person will start telling their drama and, and so usually you don't say het gaat wel if you're like in a formal situation usually you say goed but of course if you're with a closer friend or family member then you can say het gaat wel and then the other person will say vertel wat dan and then you can tell your story. Or if you want a little bit more of a challenge and use a full nice Dutch sentence, you can also say this expression. Oh, wat is er aan de hand? Literally translating to what is there on the hand? This is very literal. It's an expression, as I said. So yeah, this uh, means what's up what's going on so you could say this if you want to sound like you're a real good speaker of dutch okay that was it for today so if you liked it subscribe like share uh, comment and uh, if you want more of my videos and actually lesson materials you can go to my website cleardutch.nl for some free materials Okay, see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.